What's up, too? How you guys doing today? Um, I know my content's been lacking a little bit. My last video, I think, was lacking some energy. Um, I've just been really busy with work and stuff, so this week I wanted to change it up for you guys. Um, and have a little smoke sesh uh, before we get in the garden. Some awesome, awesome announcements. Um, I'm sure people have heard, but, you know, Method 1 and Growth E-Tech are now sponsoring Team Canna. Uh, it's coming at an excellent time. Um, I'm battling thrips this summer and, well, pretty much year-round, but it's only going to get worse as uh, the temps start to rise. Um, and it's a one-stop shop, preventative maintenance, man. I mean, it's amazing. You don't need to buy three products to treat multiple different things. I mean, you hit it with Method 1 three times a week, two ounces per gallon, pretty set. Don't have to worry about it. I've been using it long before, not long before, about maybe five months. Um, before they started sponsoring us so uh, I've already gone through a few 60 ounce bottles those aren't cheap um, but I will leave a link down below if you guys want a 10% discount um, off their entire site alright so why don't we get into it uh, shout outs to baby J um, she kinda influenced me to kinda do this um, I don't appear much on my channel uh, I'll try to change that up for you guys a little bit I feel a little more comfortable I'm new to this whole social media thing I've only been doing it for like eight months um, advertising my grows where I come from my past uh, that's gotten me in trouble um, you know people rip me off so on so on and so forth I'm sure everybody's got the same story so without further ado let's get into it <clears throat> we're smoking on some platinum cookies of course always got the cookies up in the up in the rotation <clears throat> so cheers cheers to you guys man all my subs all the guys that watch this video that don't sub up sub up man got some giveaways coming up so check it out cheers you guys So let's get in the garden. Uh, we'll start off with a quick spray down of uh, Method 1 on our, our cuttings, uh, our reset and veg. So stay tuned. I hope you all are having a great week. Um, <coughs> I hope you guys are, your gardens are booming. I hope everything's going great. <coughs> and everybody's plants are healthy. So um, yeah, shout out to all you guys, man. Let's get in the garden. Cheers. Yeah, what's up, too? We're down in the garden. And uh, in honor of Big Dookie and Envy Closet Med Grower, I wanted to bring um, my little canine down and introduce her to the channel. This is Mona. This is my little baby Mona. Year and a half old Boston Terrier. A little terrorist. I'm surprised she's so sleepy right now. She's a little nutbag. But uh, yeah, shout outs to you, man. Envy, really sorry for your loss, brother. Uh, prayers, condolences to you, man. Rest in paradise, Big Dookie. Grows up, brother. So, this is where we're at. Let's check it out. Let's get in the veg tent here. Um, as you guys saw just a few seconds ago, we were hitting these ladies with some Method 1. Uh, just sticking with our preventative maintenance once every three to four days is, you know, whenever I have really the time to get down here and do it. Um, so, once every three to four days, uh, two ounces per gallon, RO water. Um, yeah, and we hit them good, man. We soak them, drench them. And obviously turn the lights off for that. Um, I kept the lights on for the purposes of that video and this video here. So, uh, but definitely, definitely don't want to leave the lights on during that. Um, it evaporates on the leaves pretty quickly uh, with no residual effect. So just be a little patient. Turn your fan on after a minute. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, it's going to keep us thrift free this summer. PM free. Um, huge believer in the product. Growthetech.com. I'll leave a link down below to get 10% off anything off their site. Um, you know, summer's coming up, you guys, bugs and PM become an issue when the temperatures start rising. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a one-stop shop prevention. Um, you don't have to buy three, four products to treat different things, man. Method 1 will treat them all. So, I'll, again, I'll leave a link down below um, with a discount code, 10% off. Um, you guys are going to love it, man. No joke. No joke. One-stop shop prevention. Uh, moving on, we got the Funko G Monocrop Reset right here. 
Um, looking great, man. Our Fino number four is definitely the most vigorous grower for sure in veg. So we'll see how they produce um, come flower. Uh, we're about week three. So we'll see what happens in there. But veg is looking great. All the clones are looking beautiful on that veg bloom diet. We got dialed in. We're running three grams per gallon. Um, some cow mag, some mammoth pea, and some canazyme. And that is it, you guys. Oh, and, a, and some silica. Just open that respiratory system up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty simple feed. Um, I'm probably, not, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep running the silica. I just wanted to run the mammoth pea and the, the veg bloom, and I'm gonna run their shine and flower, and keep it very simple. And cow mag, and we're gonna see how that works out. Um, but everything's looking great in the veg tent, you guys. Um, super healthy, super happy. You know, we just topped all of them last week. Um, we've been pulling fans off of them, trying to inhibit this inner growth, um, as you guys can see. Um, that Pheno 5 is staying so squatty, it's really strange to me. I don't think the root mass is as developed as the rest of these. Um, really strange, because that was another... The, all these have been stretchy OG dominant Phenos, as you guys can tell. Look at the canopy, you know. And then that Pheno number 5. Pheno number 5 over there. And uh, this, tell me this is a 2. Wow. The, the number 5 cuts stay real squatty. Strange. Uh, or they're slower vegers. Um, I don't really recall that from seed, but... Um, that's what we're, we're discovering with, with clones, but um, number one, four, and seven are all tall, uh, pretty pretty vigorous, pretty quick growers, so um, loving that. Everything's looking really good on this reset, you guys. We're on that veg bloom diet, keeping it simple. Um, they just got hit with that method one. They just got fed, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll get you over to the flower tent and uh, see how these ladies are doing in flower. Cheers. Right tube. What's going on? We're in the flower tent with the Funko G's right here. <clears throat> so let's get in a little closer, man. Um, we got our Fino number four right here. Um, one thing I'm liking is this just the sheer stacking. Um, a common trait amongst all of these is just for for an OG strain, just how much it stacks. These stretch um, quite a bit in veg, as you guys could tell, uh, if you guys follow my videos. Um, but once we got into flower, I mean, I don't know if it's the light intensity. I've got these lights smashed down on them um, pretty nice. And we've just spread them out on this trellis, opened up their centers to bring all that up. And uh, But they have just, just stacked beautifully, you guys. And it's a common trait amongst all, these, all four of these phenos. It's looking great, you guys. I love it. It's just, fuck, it's gonna be fat ass colas, dude. And we're week three, we're day 21, stretch is done. And uh, you guys can see it. I mean, this is gonna be my more 50-50 hybrid. I mean, just you can tell by the families. But they just stack, dude. All of them, all have that same, same trait. Just, it's freaking beautiful. And this Fino number four is under our timber grow light. Um, funny, funny, funny story about that. I was actually reaching into the back to pull a fan leaf, hit my head on the grow light, and it actually, since I took the reflectors off, it burnt my hair. <laughs> it was funny. There's a cloud of smoke and shit. I was like, what the fuck? So be careful when you got that thing turned all the way up. <clears throat> it can't get hot on the underside. See, I, I can put my my hands on the heat sink, no problem. But underneath, <sighs> that shit was hot. So anyway, back to the ladies. Um, as you can tell, we've done a grandmaster level defoliation. Lolly popped them good. Um, we haven't taken any more since the first time. So I wanna see this light penetration from the timber grow light. I wanna check how these lowers develop on this tester strain, the Funk OGs. Um, still not yet released. So uh, you can check out E-Money the Med Savage. He did just harvest some, looking really good. Um, but we're, we're, we're looking great over here, guys. Really good. Everything's looking really good over here. I mean, just on cruise control right now. These ladies are loving life. Loving life. So, as you guys can see, again, it's just sheer stacking. You know? Um, the stretch is through. 
Now we're gonna start bulking up. And I just love how fat these caps are in the back, man. <clears throat> Both pheno number one and pheno number five are shooting caps much bigger than the two in the front, pheno one and pheno, or excuse me, pheno seven and four. Um, a lot more sights on pheno number four. She's that much vigorous, much more vigorous grower. <clears throat> a lot more lateral branching, side branching, inner growth. But you see what that defoliation has done. I mean, we're just got sights opened up everywhere. Light is just hitting all these sights. <clears throat> so everything's looking really good, guys. <clears throat> Beautiful trait with pretty much almost all can of genetics. Um, unless you get the cookie leaner on, on like the blue banner cookies and stuff. Um, it's just how they stack, you guys. If you saw Baby J's Mayhem Bear, even her Gorilla Smash, they stack real nice, dude. And develop some nice buds. So that's where we're at. Let's get in and get a little close up. Get a little frost rails developing. We're day 21 in flower right now. So now, now we're really going to start performing. So that's our pheno number four. Let's check the frost rails on this pheno number seven. Speed. Yeah, a little bit smaller caps than the ones in the back. These might even be a little bit frosty. Yeah, they are. And maybe some color coming through too. You might see a little color come through. Let's check this video number five. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, looking real good. And it does look like a minor fade on these ladies. Uh, I did have the LED about 9 inches from them, so I'm pretty sure that's what it has to do with. Uh, if you look at any of the lowers or anything not, not directly under the light, that fade is, they're all the darker green normal color. So I think it was just a little light fade uh, caused by the light intensity. So we backed up the light a little bit and it's, everything's looking good. But man, look at that pheno number 4 beast it out, dude. That's her right here too, right here. So that, 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 um, a lot of great content to come. As you can see, these ladies are doing beautiful. We got our Funk OG from Kinogenetic Testers right here. Kinogenetics.com. I mean, these genetics just perform beautifully, you guys. If you don't have any in your garden, go get some. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. So, stay tuned for more of this Kinogenetics grow, you guys. And I appreciate all the love and support. Sub up down below if you haven't already for more of this content. we got some giveaways coming up. And uh, leave a comment. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Show that growers love, man. Show that support. That's what we're all about, man. That's what this community is about. You know? You put it out there and it comes back. It always comes back around. Alright, guys. Well, I hope y'all have had a blessed week. I appreciate you tuning in. It was nice smuggling with y'all. Um, stay tuned. I think we're going to go live tonight. Uh, Team Canada Live on YouTube. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to join in. Come, come smoke with us. Come check it out. Alright. Let's get in here and show you one last little frost shot on day 21. Not a whole lot, but I think there's going to be some color changing up in there. Alright, guys. Y'all have a good week. Deuces.